joins us now live. Tony, plenty of excitement ahead of the team's arrival. Yes, Ronald, it is a bit of a fill up or a tumble international at the moment. Um, we got here maybe 30, 45 minutes ago and it was pretty full already and there's been quite a buzz that's happened. It's obviously quite a, it's different to what happened um, a few weeks ago when the other 17s came back from their World Cup. But obviously with Banyana Banyana having that so well at the airport, um, it was obviously necessary for all of this to happen. They did qualify for the World Cup in the process. Although they didn't win last night against Nigeria, they did qualify for the World Cup, which was the mandate of going to the Women's AFCON. And joining me, I managed to squeeze in an interview with Fran Hilton Smith, who is the ladies' um, technical director. She has been waiting with us, so I'll just cross over to her quickly. Um, Fran, obviously, thank you so much for, for patiently waiting. First question, just your thoughts on Banyana Banyana's campaign at the um, Women's AFCON in Ghana? Well, it's a dream come true. Um, we've waited 24 years to qualify for the World Cup, and finally we've done it. So all ups to the girls. I think they gave a brilliant performance, and we're off to the World Cup in France. So a dream come true for everybody. Thanks to Safa, thanks to Cecil for really supporting this team and to all the players. And we've said a lot about, uh, this whole week has been a lot on um, the women and support for them and sponsorship and that sort of thing. Beyond that, what's next now for the national team with the next few months leading up to France? Well, of course, we always want sponsorship in women's football. That's what held us back. We need people to come in and sponsor the ladies. They need to be paid much more than they get. Of course, we all know that. So we hope now this victory will ensure that many companies, especially companies that make women's products, come in and sponsor the girls and ensure that they get what they deserve. And what's the plan in terms of preparing the team for their first ever World Cup? Well, we have uh, Sweden in January have come back because now we have a reputation. Teams from Europe are coming to play us. We hope to go to the Cyprus Cup in March. Uh, we will have a lot of friendlies before the World Cup as we need to be properly prepared. It's a big stage. Even Nigeria has been going there since 91. have never got out of the top or got out of the top 10 once. So we need to really prepare the girls properly. And just a bit more on that. Um, obviously, they're one of the 24 teams that are through to that World Cup. Are they just going to be making up the numbers as is their first World Cup? Or are you hoping that they'll be able to do a bit more than that? No, we certainly hope with the display we saw in Nigeria with players like Tembi, Janine, Linda, um, Kaylin Swat making the top 11, that our players can really make a mark in France. That's the idea, is to make a good impression. Thank you so much, um, Fran, for your time, and good luck in the planning for the World Cup. Great. Well, Ronald, that was Fran Hilton-Smith, who is the Women's Technical Director. We are waiting for the arrival of Banyana Banyana. They were meant to get here at half past five, but their flight was delayed by about 30 minutes. So we expect that any moment now, maybe in the next 15 to 30 minutes, they will start coming out. Back to you in studio.